Hello there guys, Coaster Channel here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. As you can see, I'm rocking the uh, old logo sweatshirt, well not sweatshirt, hoodie. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this news update is of course from Dollywood. And uh, they're going to be building a multi-generational coaster in 2023. There was brief mentions of this while revealing their brand new expansion plans, which of course included the new uh, Heart Song Lodge and Resort, uh, which we talked about in a previous video. But this is going to be focusing on that little bit of information and sort of taking a look as to what it could be early predictions wise. So... Before we get started with all of this, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link for your own video ideas. And for now, guys, we've got some big videos coming up. 27th of June 2021, my Alton Towers trip preview. If you see me at Alton Towers on the 28th of June, don't be afraid to say hi at a social distance. If you want a photo of me, wear your mask and it's fine. 29th of June, the trip review. And before that, we do have an interesting and hopefully very exciting Coaster Chow chat, which is in the works uh, sometime next week before the trip. So stay tuned because it will be worth it. is isn't from someone in the theme park industry. It's from potentially someone from a certain ERB that I reacted to on this channel. More from that, hopefully, in the next few days. But for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Dollywood and their 2023 multi-generational roller coaster. So this is according to Pigeon Forge News. Shout out to Pigeon Forge News. It's good to see local uh, news sources making it there in the world. So, Dollywood is planning a multi-generational roller coaster in 2023 in addition to new resorts. Now, of course, the Heart Song Lodge and Resort, which is set to open in September 2023, part of the half a billion dollars planned investment over the next 10 years. However, they have a larger vision for more resorts to come in future years, uh, including an outdoor resort. Now, Norton, um, who... Um, he was one of the people at Dollywood. He's one of the main people at Dollywood. Basically touched briefly on a new ride, which he called a multi-generational coaster, which would be for all ages. Uh, now, he detailed future spending of $250 million in hospitality, $150 million in a new park and attraction experience across Dollywood Splash County and Dollywood, and another $100 million on infrastructure improvements. Uh, now, he said the plans is to increase attendance. More parking will also be needed with those plans. And if we hit the numbers, they're going to be out of parking in 2027, apparently. So, Dollywood have some real uh, interesting insight to what they could do in the future. As well as that, a new restaurant will be added in 2023 as well. But the main thing here is a multi-generational role the coaster for the 2023 season and it's going to be very interesting to see the heart song lodge and resort the new coaster and the new restaurant among other things to be ready for the 2023 season there we are guys ladies and gentlemen thrill six of all ages that is speaking about the 2023 multi-generational roller coaster now multi-generational can mean a couple of different things now first of all it could mean a coaster for all ages which would hint towards a family thrill coaster something along the lines of a fire chaser express type thrill level or maybe something a little bit higher than that otherwise another route to go down with multi-generational which doesn't rule out a certain uh, b and option that's been in the works for a few years in terms of the attraction surveys um, multi-generational can also mean it'll be a landmark attraction that will live throughout the ages so going off of that basis it starts to hint a lot more at a B&M Hypercoaster for the 2023 season. Now, what the, the big plot of land that I highlighted for a B&M Hypercoaster, if it came to Dollywood, was of course the site of Mountain Sidewinder, the park's uh, sort of bobsled attraction. Now, obviously, there is also a bit of space, um, sort of uh, the second space, sort of next to Wildwood Grove. Um, there was like there was two big expansion space towards the back of Dollywood. There's the big one uh, where Wildwood Grove's taking off. And then there's the other one as well, um, sort of, uh, sort of, you know, a few yards away. So I think that, you know, there's real a chance to use that space in the future. I think that'll be part of the the 150 million that they may invest in the park and Splash County. Uh, but also, like I said, I think a BM hyper would work great in the Mountain Sidewinder site or a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster or 
Uh, they could go with the indoor coaster option, which, to be honest with you, I don't see happening. I think they'll go with a dark ride for Wildwood Grove, but not an indoor coaster in the future. They could do that, you never know. But I think in terms of coaster, we're looking here at a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster or a B&M Hyper, if, and only if, they're going through the multi-generational word as in it'll live throughout the ages as a landmark attraction. That's the reason behind my predictions for those two. If they're going, if they're saying multi-generational coaster as in it's a coaster for all ages, then I'm not too sure, to be honest, what prediction I can make for that. Um, I think they could go for something family thrill. Uh, they could go with, obviously they've got a family invert in Dragonflyer. Uh, they could go with a spinning coaster. They might go with one of those Mac Extreme spinning coasters, but no inversions. So it might just be a new generation spin coaster, because they can do it with no inversions. So that would make it a lot more family thrill. Uh, but still have that 90 degree drop and different overbank turns and maybe a launch or two. They could still include some elements from time travel, just no inversion. So they make it for family thrill seekers. So I think there's a real chance here to broaden the spectrum of the Mac Extreme spinning coasters. Uh, but I think it should be interesting. I think it should be really, really interesting. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell, Coop on the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a dolly wood day.